Hi, this is Monica, and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And this story, well, this is um, a thing I saw on TikTok, and I'm answering, I'm actually answering questions and talking about it. So I want you to sit back and listen to this entire story and give me your opinion in the comments. Like, share, and comment on this video because, honey, this one is one for the books. Recently, I was watching a story. And this story was a young lady, it was her story, and she told parts of it, and this is what she was talking about. She was talking about a guy that she met when she was, when she was deployed or whatever. And when she was talking about it, it just interested me because she kept talking and talking and I kept listening and listening, but then I got to paying attention to everything she was saying. Now, keep in mind, I watched the whole story. So what we're going to do today is the same way we to unpack what that guy was saying about the kids and marrying the women without kids. We're going to unpack her story. And the story today is how she was dating a married man for four years and the wife contacted her. Dang. His wife is 50. Victor is 36. I am 35. She can't keep up with him. I can't. Somebody was in a comment. Now, what you just saw is her explaining because when she was telling this story, people was actually looking at what she was saying and they was leaving comments. And some of the comments was like, you know what I'm saying, the age difference and this and this. She clearly said that the man's name is Victor. She clearly said that he was 36. She's actually 32 or 33. He's 36 and his wife is 50. Now, when we keep going and looking at this, it's going to get deeper and deeper because first and foremost, the smile on her face clearly shows she has no remorse about anything that she has done or what the husband had done. Now, in through her saying this whole thing in that clip right there, she was like kind of laughing and joking about how the age difference that that um, because the wife was 50, she couldn't keep up with her husband that was 36. But if she couldn't keep up with the husband that was 36, that was still her husband. Whether or not she could keep up or not, he married her. That made her the wife. Whether or not he saw something in his wife, whether she was 50 or 100, he saw something in his wife that he didn't see in that girl. Regardless of the fact... I did get pissed off about a lot of this because, as you know, I'm a wife. And so I feel totally different about situations like this. So we're going to continue to watch. And I really want y'all to interact with these vid with this series here because I really want to know at the end, in between, and at the middle, how y'all are feeling about what I am showing y'all. But he had just PCS. He doesn't. He doesn't know that part, but... <laughs> So we're texting each other throughout the week and we finally make plans to link up. Are we wrong? Yes. Do Okay, we now in this that that clip I just showed you, she was going into how did they meet and whatever. How they met was she was driving one kind of company truck, he was driving another. Somehow or another they crossed paths, but he keys his eyes locked with hers. He couldn't stop looking at her, blase whoop, scoopity boop. I don't give a damn, she shouldn't have did it. But at the end of the day, he shouldn't have either. But they met and he waited and got in front of everybody, gave his number to her out loud in front of his whole company. She thought it was flattering. So they started texting back and forth and they decided to meet up. But when they met up, he had his own little place because he was a ranking officer. He had his own place and stuff and it was ducked off and she went to stay the weekend with him. This is how this this whole thing between him and her started. So she went on and on about justification about what him and her had done. So she justified. He knew that and I knew that. I don't think either one of us expected it to last as long as it has. You're not supposed to get that close to each other. I just seen him on Monday and He's clearing because he's um med Now, I can give my opinion on a lot of stuff, but when I heard this girl's story, I kept thinking to myself, like, how wrong could she be? Because not only was she openly telling the story, but she openly showed his picture. She openly contacted his, she emailed his wife. 
openly, this whole argument between the two started because she felt like he wasn't showing her no appreciation. He wasn't valuing her time. Because whether or not he had a wife or regardless of the fact he had a wife, she still wanted more of his time. And if you if you just seen this story, do you know I know what I'm talking about? Because the whole reason why she got mad is because he wasn't giving her enough eggplant. Now, at the end of the day, all this occurred because he had limited her access to the weakness. Okay, she had he had cut her off, not cut her all the way off, but slowed it down a little bit because he had went home to his wife. She lives close enough, like an hour away from them. Not in the same city, but in the same state. But they were steadily going on and on and on. As you can hear in the video, she was talking about she had just seen him that Monday. But she was so furious and so mad at him when she told him that she was going to cut it off, that she wanted to stop the whole affair. He agreed with her. And that pissed her off more because she said that he, she felt like he didn't give a damn about her. So when she emailed his wife, his wife, he had to, he, he eventually had to tell his wife everything. And this is where this is getting tricky at. Because the wife contacted her. And she, she, she recorded the, she recorded the phone conversation. And even in the phone conversation, she was laughing. This lady was telling her stuff. But I'm going to let y'all go ahead and hear that. Because, I'm going to say it again. I'm a wife. No wife wants to be hurt by another bitch. That's why. Now, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it don't happen, but it do. And even though the wife stayed calm, this girl laughed and thought it was funny. She, I, I can't tell too much until I get to that part, but... It was just her whole demeanor to me. But her whole demeanor was, why, why is everybody mad at her? It wasn't her. It was him that initiated the conversation between the two. It was him that initiated everything. But you continued it. This wasn't a listen to fair like six months. This was four years. So you invested your time with another woman for four years. And he thought it was okay to go back to his wife and tell her before the girl did. But then his, all his family and her family, the wife's family, seen all this. So her friends and everybody to see the TikToks. And now they're calling the wife and the conversation went as follows. Okay. I live in Conyers. Yes, he told me that. Mm-hmm. But my thing is, if you knew he was married, why didn't you even pursue any of that, knowing that it could probably lead to trauma? Oh, I pursued him. Oh, really? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. Why would you pursue that? any of it, period? Knowing when he said he was married, why would you pursue that? Yeah, see, that's the thing. I didn't pursue a married man. A married man pursued me. Oh, I can't figure this much. Okay. That's let's why let's I clear that up. <laughs> Yeah, I do agree. Unfortunately, I don't see it as drama. I see it as a part of my life. It's been a part of my life for four years now, so yeah, it's it's important to me. It might be so. important to you, but right now, it's causing me a lot of stuff that shouldn't even be happening. Well, I don't see how. <laughs> see how? No, I don't see how. This man has been my husband for 14 years. I am aware. Okay, and like I said, I don't understand why you... Okay. But me taking it down is not going to change anything about him. It's not, but at the same time, it's no one's business. It's my business. It's, business, but it's, it's not yours, not my business. It's mine. Now. Regardless of how you feel, I am included in this. Wow. How are you included, honey? Aren't you calling me? Yes, I am calling you. Now, in this clip, the wife is asking her, like, why did you pursue the relationship if you knew he was married? The girl clearly was like, well, um, I didn't pursue it. I hope he didn't. Her attitude is, I hope he didn't tell you that it was me. It was all him. And then the wife went on to tell her, like, can you take this down and this and this. First and foremost, as the wife and her 
her demeanor when you hear her, when you watch the clip, the wife was so calm and she was so, she was so calm. See, I could have been that calm. I just, I don't think I could have been that calm. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't have been. I couldn't have been because at the end of the day, whether he told me then or he told me after or whatever the fuck he thought he was going to tell me this shit, I would have flipped out because I, it's no way in hell. It's no way. And then she was like, well, I hope he didn't, he didn't tell you that I pursued him. Then she started giggling. Then she went from the giggling to um, going on and telling the wife some old shit about, um, about, uh, oh, girl, about about how uh, she lived close to them and how the relationship was and this, that. She still is not old enough to the fact that this was a four-year relationship and at some point... They both knew they was wrong, but I'm sure if it was her, she wouldn't have wanted this done to her. But at the end of the day, she did it, and she had made no bones about it. She was like, it's four years, and, and the wife went on to tell her some stuff like, well, um, don't you feel bad? She was like, but it's my story, and no, she wasn't taking it down. And this and this, and to me, the girl still, as a woman, just as not just the the other woman, but just as a woman, period. It's got to be some type of limitations to what you do, some kind of repercussions of what you do. This girl was just so flabbergasted that this woman called her. And the woman didn't call her to be argumentative. She just called her. She was like, there's a lot of repercussions to this. Her family and her kids that saw this. And this and this and this and this girl still. At the end of the day, her whole thing was she's not taking it down. And she don't feel, she don't, why should she feel bad? It's not her situation. It's not her marriage. It's hers. It's the other, it's the woman's. So why should she feel bad about it? They knew what they both was doing. They both was consensual adults and they knew what they was doing. So I don't know how to feel about, I, did, I don't know. I don't, I still, at the end of the day, I don't know how to feel about this here situation here. Just like I said, it's, 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 it's going to get more and more as the story progresses. But please, this is where y'all need to comment at me so I can get some kind of understanding. Because right now I don't have not any, not zero, zero dot. I have I never none. came. And when I told him that, I was not even in Augusta anymore. I was in my bed. Right. <laughs> but he didn't know that. But yes, I was home when I said that to him. So. And I have the email that you sent. You forwarded me all the emails that you sent. Great. I was hoping. Everything. That's good. But the thing is now, if everything is going to go whatever, whatever, then it needs to stay where it's supposed to stay. And that's between you, him, whatever. But the, for the world to be out there, to be doing that, that's, that's just not no. The world can't know why. Because let's cover it up. Let's not let anybody know who he really is. Wow. Well, is that the goal? Because of the simple fact is that I have two kids. Mm -hmm. TikTok and they can see that. So. Mm -hmm. I have kids too. They can see it as well. So it doesn't really matter to you the simple fact that all, all basically you're saying that you don't care that he had a wife. He didn't so, care that he had a wife. Well, that's, that's on him. See now in this clip. That this really kind of got to me because the wife was steadily trying to explain to her calmly, like, you know, this stuff is on TikTok. It's not for the world to see. And this is that she's still trying to keep her cool. And the girl is still like, what, what you don't want the world to know? And this is this you want to be hidden and all this other stuff. She even went, the wife went as far as to even tell her, like, well, I got kids. She's like, well, I got kids too. She's like, well, you don't give a, you didn't give a care about. Him having a wife. She said he didn't care about himself having a wife. Whether or not he gave a damn. I think the wife, honestly, I think the wife was took it to was ticking through this a little too much. I would have never, I don't know, I don't if it was me, I don't know what I would have did. But for her to have like this, it's the smirk for me. It's the smile and the the total lack of. I don't know for me. It's not, it's, I don't know. Because see, I had to, I sat on this. Actually, I watched this two days ago. And when I was watching it, I was watching it 
with my husband. And I kept thinking to myself. I kept getting madder and madder. And I got frustrated and frustrated. Yes, men do cheat. Yes, people cheat. They do. But what makes it okay for the person that you're cheating on to be the one that's mainly hurt? Because it sounds to me like the wife is more hurt than what the husband or the girl was. Because she didn't give a damn. But clearly he didn't because this wasn't the only affair that this man had. She, the girlfriend, knew that he had other affairs and didn't give a damn about that. Long as she was getting what she was getting, which was the penis. She didn't care. So she gets mad and so she want to go and confront the wife about the shit. But why didn't you confront her when y'all was doing it? If it was so important for the story to get out, why did you confront her when you was doing it? Since the story needed to be out, it should have been out four years ago. If you were so proud, this is my thing, if she was so proud of the fact that this was going on, why did she put it out four years ago? Why did she wait until they fell out to put it out then? It's been, I don't, I, 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 I still, I watched this a couple of days ago. I get, I'm frustrated about it still. And I still don't got no understanding about why, if, if it was so a, such a thing that you were so proud of, why did you wait until you got into an argument with him or a disagreement or however it went? Because he made TikToks about it too. I couldn't find his, but I read across hers. But he made TikToks about the same thing. So y'all being petty, both of y'all. Y'all, irregardless, the wife is what I feel like is getting the shit here of the deal. I really do. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I know I'm not. Well, do you know that I was in Kentucky as well? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, my. So you went to Kentucky when he was there for almost... Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh. Where else? Let me see. Came to Texas anytime? Oh, no, no. I didn't know him then. I didn't okay. meet him until Korea. Korea the last time before we came here. Yeah, in 2017. <laughs> that's when I met him. Yes. Mm. It is very interesting to know that. In Kentucky. <laughs> okay. Wow. So her aunt, okay. Yep. And who else? Yeah, that's what I said. I said that she know about everybody else, but that's none of my business. So I hope you guys have a great day. Well, I will. And I thank you for actually having a conversation. But I, if you could just leave the rest off, that would be great. Okay, now in this clip, she, the wife didn't know that, I guess he had got stationed for a month in Kentucky. The girl that you see that's telling the story, she was in Kentucky with him. Now, she clearly said that this, the affair started in 2017. And when they was in Korea, then I guess when he went to wherever he went, she followed or he followed or I don't know who followed. I don't care who followed. I, it's not my business. But at the end of the day, still there again. I, I don't see, no, it's not the girl's responsibility to know better when it came to this woman's husband because he should have knew better. He should have known better. But was they both wrong? Yes, they were. Do, any, do that girl owe the wife anything? No, she really don't. But at the end of the day, you should owe yourself something. What about what you owe yourself? No, she don't have to explain shit to nobody. But at the end of the day, you have to explain it to yourself. You have to know your self-worth. At the end of the day, the wife is so mad that she's now giggling. And I can understand the hell that's on the other side of that phone because clearly they done took the roof off the house because she, he done went on ahead and told about everything and this and this and this. Plus, she done had this phone conversation with this girl. But at the end of the day, I still... Uh, uh, mm -mm. he is like wrong, extra wrong with extra wrong sauce for even creating a situation like that. Even if he was going to mess around with her, it was four years. That's a relationship. It's not a sneaky link. It's not. A, that's a full blown relationship. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. That's a full blown relationship. Whether he admits it or she admits it. That's a full blown relationship. From 2017 to November of 2021, that is four years. That's a full blown relationship. I know she's not going to leave. I know she's not going to leave. I wouldn't leave either. <laughs> Quite frankly, if I was his wife, you're not going to work. 
You're not going to the grocery store. You're not going to breathe on the front porch. You're not going on the back. But you're not going to motherfucking place with this in your pants. I feel like it's illegal and he should not be allowed to have it. But he does. Because bitch is mad as he made me if he walked in my door right now. Let me take this off. I, I wouldn't show it if I was getting it back. But it's clear that bridge has been burnt, exploded. Um, it's not coming back to me. It's going on to the next. <laughs> so I can share it with y'all. Do y'all want to see? Yes or no? Let me know. No. Okay, and this this clip that I just showed y'all, she's actually going into detail about how she knows that his wife is not going to leave. Now, as you seen at the top of the that what she had posted, you see the wife and it had a money bag and a house and an equal sign, and then on her she had her cat and some water dripping. You already know what it meant. But at the end of the day, you can see that the emotion that she had for this man was like genuine because she clearly said that no he wouldn't be allowed if he was actually with her no he wouldn't be allowed to go to the store no he couldn't go nowhere without her because apparently he got a big thing and his big thing is really good because at the end of the day when she's talking about it and women we have to admit when we run into a piece of good dick i'm gonna say it i'm just i don't care if they block it i don't at this point because we have been there if you got a good piece of dick listen to me you're going to be smiling when you're talking about it clearly it made her glow all over we have to look past what her demeanor is, look at her as another woman. Even though she's not looking at his wife as another woman, just like I said before, she doesn't owe the, the, the wife actually nothing. It was the husband that owed his wife. But she wouldn't be in a position that she's in if he hadn't opened the door for her. For four years, let's not forget that part. For four years and for the fact that he gave her the same magic that he gave to his wife. Is it an unforgivable offense? Yes, it is. Will the wife always remember? Yes, she will. Will that hurt remind her? Yes, it will. But at the end of the day, this girl is genuinely happy because he gave her that he must get a good weapon of mass destruction because it's actually when she's talking about it. You can see it in her face. You can see it in the way she's talking about it. It even brought her, she can't get it out of her mind. She even clearly said if he walked through the door, she would it would go down. But at the end of the day, it wasn't about, it's not, at this point, it's not about her now. It's about the husband. Because even if she knew, he was the one that I'm a whole responsible for this. Because if, if, it, would, if it wasn't for him, she would have never been there. Regardless if he had cheated on his wife before, if it wasn't for the fact that he initiated it between him, himself, and that girl, at the end of the day, none of this would have jumped off if he had a, kept whatever he got in between his legs to himself. But he didn't. Disrespectful. My day to visit you is irrelevant to you. And I don't like that. I don't disrespect you. You're not going to disrespect me. I could have been went to your house. Been. I didn't. If I can respect your circle, you can respect mine. Just because you're the one who's married doesn't mean anything with me is just disrespectful no that's not how it goes baby that's not how it goes i respect your circle you respect mine i respect your time you respect mine i respect your family you respect mine it's mutual i do know my place but he also knows my place and when you have a side you know that you're taking a risk the only way you can have a side is if you're giving her something that she wants if you're keeping her quiet some people have a side and they have to pay her if you stop paying her, but you still want to be in her face, she's going to fuck your shit up. What you were supposed to give to me, you fucked that up. So I fucked your shit up. You hear my name, and when you see my face, you're going to get mad. You're going to get mad. Your wife going to get mad. Your kids going to get mad. That's what I want. It's not going to be sweet. It's not going to be rainbows and butterflies. When you hear about Sam, I want you to get mad. I want your wife to get mad. I want your kids to get I want everybody to be pissed when they hear my name. That's why I flipped this bitch the fuck on. I would have left and not said anything. 
I would be the only one mad. Just me. When I hear your name, I'd be pissed. I'd be in my feelings. But no, we're going to share this feeling. The whole family, everybody's going to share it. Just take your L. Just leave. It's not that serious. You didn't have to do all I did have to do all that. I did have to do all of that. Because I ain't no bitch. And I'm not to be fucked with. Okay, this is how far I'm going to take this one. Because I don't want to end up to be in a place where I can't at least be fair. Now, out of all the clips that I showed y'all about how she was telling the story, what was going on with the wife on the phone and everything, this was the only time she actually showed emotion is when she told, when she was telling what she wanted, how she wanted his pain to be, how she wanted his family to look at him, how she was hurt, how, she, how he was hurt, how she wanted to hurt him and his family. Now, at the end of the day, was she any ways right about what she said somewhat, but not really. Because, yeah, she she, yeah, she yeah, was hurt. Yeah, she felt disrespected. And she disrespected him. But never, not once, should it have been the wife or the kids should have not been involved in that. Because they didn't have anything to do with that. That was a decision that he made, that he made with her. <clears throat> and regardless, the wife got hurt, the kids got hurt, and she also got hurt. So... To me, the husband is at fault before anybody. The husband is at fault before anybody. Because if he had never initiated the, the encounter between them in 2017, in November of 2021, this girl wouldn't have had to tear this other woman's house up. And she clearly says that. So, nevertheless, I feel like this could have been avoided if he just had a not cheated. And he didn't just cheat with just her. He cheated with other women. Because if you go back and you look at her entire story. Now I didn't give out her whole name or her page or anything like this. Because I don't want this girl harassed. Because this was her story. This was not my story. This is her story. This is how she wanted to tell it. And she told why she told it. So at the end of the day, no, I don't want her beat up in the comments or whatever the case would be you do what you want with this but at the end of the day it would have never had to happen if he hadn't initiated that first that first conversation between him and her had it should have lasted for four years absolutely not if it was a fling it should have been a fling thing but this was not a fling she hasn't admitted it and he has admitted this was a full relationship nobody has a fling for four years that's a relationship because he knows all about her. She knows all about him. She traveled with him. She moved where he was. All this other extraness. They did what they did. And there's more clips and photos and text messages and stuff like this that I didn't show here because at some point I want to still, in my heart, I want to still have some kind of dignity for the entire story, for the entire relationship because there's embarrassing points on both parts. Yes, I do feel differently about this. Now, this is my opinion, and <clears throat> with anything, I try to give be fair. In my opinion, should it have been on social media? Absolutely not. Had her story actually interest people? Yes, it did. But does this bring any awareness to anybody? Yes, it should. Because at the end of the day, as a wife, as a woman, as just a person that knows their worth, I could not allow myself, just in my opinion, I could not allow myself to just go after somebody because if he did, if it was me and he did me wrong, I would go after him. I wouldn't go after the kids. I wouldn't go after the wife. I would go after the one that hurt me. And that was him. So irregardless if the wife chose to stay or not, that's their decision. That's not my decision or nobody else's. I can't point the finger at anybody at this point because I have went back and I have looked at this story and I have looked at the after comments. I've looked at her reply to comments. I have actually seen her go from mad to happy to irritated. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like this. And that just shows you right there that you have to know your own worth. Can't nobody make you feel valued more than what you can. At the end, it was all over a piece of penis. That's what the irritating part for me was. 
that this wasn't because he stopped uh, being with her financially or taking care of her or nothing like this. It was all a piece of penis. The reason why this woman is not sleeping at night. She's crying. She's hurt. She's embarrassed. She's more embarrassed than him or the other woman. The wife is who I feel really sorry for because she, her whole life right now is crumbling and there's nothing she could do about it. So I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just feel like at some point, where does it stop at? I want to know his side. I want to know what he thought. I want to know how is he going to get out of this with this, with his wife? Because clearly he's not going to see the girl anymore. And she said that. But what about his wife? What about his wife? My question is, what about how does the wife go on? What about the wife?